Hi, this is Shadi, and today we're going to be looking at some Kosen Judo details. So, the Tokyo Kodokan weekend is officially over, and it was amazing. And what I did get from it not only is, you know, to see all these superstars and watch the All Japan, but also learn from some of the Kodokan veterans, so to speak, a lot of them who demonstrated these techniques on the Kodokan channel. Uh, also, I went to the shop and I got a few books and today I will share with you one that you can actually find on Amazon if I'm not mistaken. It's um, the, the revealing of Kosen Judo secrets. So it's the 2014 edition if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if there's an older one but this one is from the 2014 uh, edition. Uh, it speaks a lot about pre-war uh, techniques and setups for example in Jiu Jitsu. Uh, you have this uh, tactic where you actually give someone the pass only they to for them to fall in your uh, baseball bat choke. So this book actually covers it. Um, I'm not going to go through everything. Of course, it's over 250 pages long. So if you can get your hands on it, I strongly advise that you do. So today we're going to be looking at very basic yet simple but difficult open guard and yes this is not the same Masahiko Kimura it's a different one as you mentioned uh, in the comments before so first we're going to be taking a look at the Seitai position open guard supine posture whatever you want to call it and from there you can hook and sweep and maintain your guard so um, this book is a very good lesson in classical open guard in my opinion very similar to Chrome Gracie and we're gonna see it uh, and just in a few so open guard you can call it seitai if you just want to do that just like do osai is the closed guard so there you have it so here we're going to be talking about leg twirls and keeping a position so when you twirl your leg you either lace a uh, hand kind of like a lasso or you can take it and cross it all the way to the other side to prevent someone from passing or here you can just hide the arm and create frames with it or you can as you can see arm bar and also um, triangle and you can catch them in like a open guard on one leg as you can see on the bottom right one and we're gonna see a video uh, example of this so you can twirl inside and catch the arm or also create uh, a frame on the chest as you twirl in so um, this is a very important position because it's just so open and there's just so many uh, possibilities uh, from it. This book details it on so many pages, but I'm trying to give you just the gist of it. So here you can see uh, Kron Gracie and Otavio Sousa in 2012. Here you can see the like the bottom right uh, photo. Kron positions himself the same way to the side, tries to twirl in as he actually kicks down the shoulder of Otavio Sousa down in order to break his posture. Um, this is video, by the way, done by RVV BJJ of this match. Uh, I highly recommend you watch this video. So um, here he continues to do the same twirling in grabbing and framing. Uh, this is very reminiscent. So kind of like the Oda uh, BJJ or the Oda Judo, I'm sorry, similar to uh, Hicks and Gracie's Invisible Jiu Jitsu. Here you can see Kron Gracie demonstrating a very classical open guard. Here you see twirls in, creates a cross frame with his leg again here and maintains guard even though Susa is very um, offensive. Also this uh, position where he's scissoring his legs from the side, you can also find it in the book. Maybe I'll cover the book in several parts but again there's just so many in there, over 250 pages long. And I'll share like the, some of the things that I really liked. So here, this one really spoke to me. So in judo, when we attempt to throw, a lot of the time we just find ourselves in the turtle. It's just inevitable. Seoenage, kataguruma. It, you, there's just no running away from the kame position or the turtle. However, this book says when you assume the so-called kame turtle guard position, do not stop in that position. Rather, try to get back to seitai posture by using your hook so here you see he enters a f his foot inside as he is still in you know uh, on one knee and hooks in either to sweep or to recover a seitai position or open guard so 
these are very good and valuable uh, lessons that are giving you how to escape the turtle. Obviously, there is uh, rollovers, etc., uh, from Yukina Kai uh, and stuff that we all know, but these little hooks are very important. And you can see a lot of veterans do a lot of hooks, especially in judo. So, here you can see is another example you are turtle. Let's say you went out for Kataguruma, it didn't work. You go to your side. Uh, you keep your hips really heavy and frame with your arms hook in as you can see on the bottom right uh, Hook in. try to sweep or as well You can uh, scissor one leg and go deep inside to go again for a sweep or you can just um, Frame with your legs and go back to the guard position So you have so many options by hooking your legs or you know what we what John Danaher calls the um, shoelace side of your foot you can put it deep down the inner thigh and actually recover your position no turtling or waiting for the mate is needed so this is a very slick triangle hold and I'm gonna ask the jujitsu guys and girls if any of the competitors today are doing this uh, please let me know and also if you can link a YouTube video to it because essentially everything has been done but this is a pre World War II triangle setup that I found absolutely amazing so you see in triangle you actually move to your right side so you can actually cut down with your calf on the head as you isolate one arm but here you actually go to the other side and it makes it far more invisible and when you go to the side you can easily release the far leg from underneath their arm and you can see the leg is going up uh, on the left side and from there you can catch it and meet it with the other leg and from there you can catch a triangle you can actually also underhook the arm that's in the triangle and roll them to the side and really finish them uh, faster but you can also finish the triangle from this position as well so you can pause and check it out because it's an amazing triangle we often talk about the you know yoko sankaku of judo which is a very interesting entry you rarely see it in bjj but a lot in judo because of the kame or turtle position but here this one it's from guard and personally i rarely see i've never seen it before but like i said Jiu-Jitsu guys and girls, if any one of the competitors today is doing it or have done it in the, you know, in recorded history video wise, please let me know down below. I'd love to see it being done, you know, today, not pre-World War II or, you know, just in photograph like here. So um, you actually go to the other side, uh, underhook their arm with your leg and you meet it with the other leg, but it needs a lot of flexibility to meet the two legs together and you, you turn to your side and finish it. So this is basically it. If you want me to do uh, more parts of this, there's just a ton, like um, the index alone is like six pages of techniques, pin escapes, like the pin, even the pin escapes are stuff that I've never seen before. Uh, I've seen a lot of, uh, you know, elbow escapes, knee escapes uh, in BJJ, but the stuff that I see here, uh, they're obviously designed to, you know, catch or escape before Osai Komi is called because keep in mind Osai Komi or pin is very much still in Kosen Judo today. And uh, I'll try to cover a Kosen Judo class, go there myself. Uh, very soon and try and document it because I already got a few responses. So please stay tuned Also consider supporting me on patreon. I have exclusive content for the patrons only and of course your support would mean Greatly on this incredible journey that I'm on to reveal as much judo as I can This was Shady and thank you for listening